were in Rome with David Merman Scott. Uh, in a world of automation and artificial intelligence, uh, quite often it, companies forget that they're doing business with people. Um, how can entrepreneurs humanize their companies and restore the human touch that can give them the comparative advantage they need to succeed? And uh, in this regard, what's the role of buyer personas in sales and marketing strategies? Yeah, so you, you've nailed it. The idea of how you understand, I call them your buyer personas, but the people that you're trying to reach, that's what makes your marketing come alive and that's what gets you out of the habit of only focusing on what um, the technology says you should do because if you truly humanize your organization you really make your marketing come alive the idea of buyer personas is understanding your target market so well that you almost begin to think like them that whenever you're thinking about doing some marketing you think ah what would my buyer persona think of this? And I actually recommend that you name a buyer persona. Like if somebody's interested in artwork, like we have behind us, that you could call that person uh, maybe um, Arnie the art lover. And then that person, Arnie the art lover, has these things that they like, and you know really well, you know what words and phrases Arnie the art lover likes, and then you create content for Arnie the art lover so that that content reaches that art lover in such a way that they really, really feel connected to your organization. And that gets you out of the traditional kind of marketing people do, uh, which is just talking about products and services. Big data or rich data uh, can greatly increase sales uh, and big companies can take advantage of it uh, by using the right software and people with the right skills. Um, how can small and medium-sized enterprises, uh, for instance small Italian companies, uh, benefit from big data even with the limited budget? So what's really interesting is every one of us has one of these in our pocket. We all have a smartphone of some kind. And this smartphone allows us to have access to big data because we have the ability to find out by looking at the entire Twitter universe. What are people saying about us, about our companies, about our marketplace, about the geography that we sell into? Uh, we can find out what people are saying on Facebook and on LinkedIn. We can see through the search engines instantly what people are searching on. We can find out right now what the news of the day is. So what, what the idea of big data means everybody has access to big data because of the device in our pocket which is completely free. It's amazing how much power this has to give you information about the people you're trying to reach, your buyer personas, and how you can reach them effectively. There's never been a time in human history that's allowed us to communicate directly with every single person on the planet. And it's this thing that's in your pocket. It's crazy. It's so awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.